Hi, my name is Joanne Marcinek, and today we're going to talk about the breadcrumbs functionality SEO for WordPress plugin by Yoast. Today I'm just going to talk about this section right here where it says internal links. Breadcrumbs, if you don't already know, are little bits of information that sort of show you where you are in a website. I have them installed on my blog here at AskJoanne.com, so I'll show you an example. I'll go over to uh, the WordPress category, and so this shows me that I was at home, I went into blog, now I'm in the WordPress category. Click on one of the posts here. And now it shows me that this is the breadcrumb trail of where I've come from. Home, blog, resources, and the 10 best WordPress plugins. Breadcrumbs are great not only to orient your visitors to where they are in the website, but also for uh, SEO purposes, helping the search engines know where they are in the website. And depending on how you've labeled your categories, it also gives you the opportunity to add key phrases that have links. For instance, social media is a link that now brings up all the social media related posts on my blog. The part that was the trickiest for me to know what to do with the breadcrumb settings was the bit where it involved installing some code. Really all you need to do is click on this little checkbox here that says enable breadcrumbs. Put in whatever kind of separator you want to use. I just use anchor text for prefix for the breadcrumbs path. I'm going to say you are here. And I'm not going to worry about archive breadcrumbs or search breadcrumbs or any of those kinds of things. So basically, I've, I click Save Settings. And for a long time, I thought that should be it. And I was very frustrated when the breadcrumbs were not showing up on the page. This little bit of code, whoops, let's just highlight it here. This little bit of code is a really important piece of code that you need to insert into your into one of the files in your theme. Here it says, you know, usage is explained here. I went and read about it. I couldn't figure it out. I went to several different websites and forums. I had a really hard time finding out what the heck I was supposed to do with this code until finally on one of the WordPress forums I found the answer and I'm going to show you that answer here. So you highlight this code. I use control C to copy it. Then I go over to appearance. This is where for the non-programmers, it gets a little scary looking, but it's really not that bad. It's, it's not that bad at all. What you want to do is look over on the sidebar here in the templates and click on the one that says header.php. Down at the bottom of the header, paste in that little bit of code that you copied from the breadcrumbs page and click update file. Now when you go and look at the website live, you see the breadcrumbs have started. Let's go to one of the posts. Okay, terrific. You are here, home, and then how to repair a leaky garden hose. If I were to click on one of the categories up top, it shows me that I started at home and I am now in the self-care category. Click on one of the items in self-care. Hmm. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem. I should be seeing my category come up in the middle here. Okay, so um, we've got the breadcrumbs, but it's not including the category. And so I'm going to pop back over here to the breadcrumb settings for internal links. I think this is where the problem is. Taxonomy to show in breadcrumbs for posts. Right now it's set to none. I actually want to change it to category. And then let's go ahead and say let's bold the last page in the breadcrumb. Save the settings, pop back over to the website, refresh this page, and be beautiful. We have home, self-care category, and then the blog post that I'm actually at. So that's how you get breadcrumbs to work using the WordPress SEO plugin. A very handy thing to have, helps your visitors, helps your SEO. It's good for everybody. So please always remember, if you have any questions, AskJoanne.com. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.